my name is Jason, and um, Central Wrestling kind of was a bit of a birth child between myself and my ex, Leslie Grace, thank you. And uh, we were kind of developing it a little bit into uh, a workshop that jumped us in a lot more. And that's where I'm really so appreciative of bringing this one in. Oh, yeah, this, this like somatic just queen. This is uh, this is Roz. If you don't know Roz, you should know Roz. Yeah, and I, my background is in transpersonal somatic therapy, and I love working at the evolving edge of therapeutic touch. And for me, sensual wrestling is extremely regulating to my nervous system. So I'll be sprinkling in little insights from embodiment education as to how we can regulate ourselves and how we can co-regulate through these practices. Um, and another kind of, your, um, something I should say is I recently found out that I was, that I am autistic. And so there's a lot of like accommodation making within that space. So if there's ever an exercise that we present and you need to make an accommodation, you're really invited to do so. And you're always invited to watch. So it's kind of like a little, audience arena set up on the outside, and we can learn so much by watching as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's going to be what we're going to be building up to as well, too, is potentially witnessing and creating our dream wrestle. That's, yes. <laughs> that's, that's what we're shooting for here. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and if you feel inspired at any point to write like a little scene or um, a wrestle between different animals or different archetypes. There's a dry erase board strip there in the back. And even if you don't end up doing what you wrote down, someone else might be inspired by your imaginative vision. So you're welcome Yeah, to this is just co-creative 100% all the way through. It's like everything that comes through the heart, everything that kind of comes through the experience and expression. Let's just be vessels of sharing. Yeah, please, by all means and support, so. Yeah. yeah. And one of the main things um, that is a really foundational principle here is this idea of like corporeal consent. So we're gonna get really good at learning each other's embodied yeses and nos. And I'm also really excited to kind of turn up the volume on our expression. Um, I would say, think of it as like, as though you're on stage and whenever you're on stage you have to kind of turn everything up by at least 50 percent for the people in the back you know mm -hmm. so if you feel called to make a sound or make a motion please feel free to turn the dial up on that so that your sentiment is really coming across to whomever you're wrestling with and we're we're just going to maybe start with kind of demonstrating what our embodied yeses are and then we're going to invite you all to share yours as well and to look around the room and see what other people's look like. So I know that my yes is very kind of leaning into it. It's open, it's relaxed, um, it's like soft. Um, and my yes is like a soft and like a purr sound. Um, and then my no is very like I move away or I contract or I get rigid and tight and it feels like pressing against like a fortress or something that's pushing against you. Um, and my no is probably like, ah, or just stop, you know. Um, we're also going to use the, the stoplight system. So um, green in the stoplight system is like all good, keep going, everything's great. Yellow is like if it's a little too much pressure or to check in, make an adjustment. Red is a, a pause and a check in as to see what happened and what adjustments can be made. And then pink is when it's a sort of a more uh, situational thing that's not with regards to anything that necessarily anyone did, but it's like if you have to go to the bathroom or get some water or take a layer off, put a layer on, these sorts of like logistical um, adjustments. Or if you need to ask someone to kind of help co-regulate, we're going to give some exercises how to help co-regulate each other, or you can self-regulate. So pink can kind of come in that form. So pink, like, okay, I just need to take a break for me to kind of take care of myself right now. Yeah. So 
yeah, these, these are all kind of like invitations. If something is really working for you, you could even just like use your, your <laughs> yes, yes, Raz is yeses, or uh, you're green, like if something's really working, oh, green, or yes, but more, you can like, like let's, let's be very vocal and like say like, yeah, we want more of this, or yeah, this, this, is, this is a no for me, and all no's are welcome. Like I think I think we're a pretty pretty aware group that like all will all just you don't even need a reason. Don't have to explain yourself like red. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna I need to take a little break. Like that's that's fine. That's all welcome. Yeah. Great, and I'd love to just get all of our. Well, I want to actually introduce my dad too oh. here. <laughs>
value sound as my somatic yes most of the time I would say. I do a squeeze. Oh yeah. My somatic yes probably points someone closer. This is yeah. the big or just a, mm, whatever it may be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. My only question was also just disclosing injuries. Like, I don't want my neck from yes. around in any way. 100%. Thank you. Most people's necks also kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true. 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 <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of like the inspiration for, for this class as well. Um, I mean, it's kind of like. I've been hearing too many stories of like when it comes to contact improv injuries, you know. So, like, so this year is kind of one of those like we're gonna keep it a little bit more in that like on the floor first off, so it's not gonna be too much space to fall, um, but also really tuned in to like what is happening with everyone. So, thank you, April, for letting us know about your neck. Is there any other injuries in the room that we should kind of know as a collective? Anyone wants to share now? You can also share with your specific yeah. grouping as well. Yeah, in more detail. Great. Great. Thank you. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. So, this is sensual wrestling. I'm sorry, this is not sexual wrestling. It's like. We Maybe do, a future workshop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what you guys do outside of this, like, it would be a pleasure to hear stories how you went off and just had all kinds of yummy hot yum yums. <laughs> sure. But, like, this, <laughs> this space here, this space here, we want to keep on this sensual realm. Um, if the sexual energy does arise, it's like, it is welcome. It is welcome. Um, but, like, this is kind of notice it. We want to keep it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more within ourselves. Yeah, yeah, so I have, there's this really great analogy where you can you can kind of like hold your erotic energy as though it's like a paint can that you're holding, and you can you know express that verbally. You can be like, "Hey, I have this paint can for you if you want it," you know, or something like that. But you don't just go and like dump your paint can on someone else. You know, you don't know if they want to be a Jackson Pollock tonight or not. So you know. Hold that, like paint that rainbow canister because there's probably someone that wants that poured all over them. But you know, it's just before you before you do so, you know, inquire. Yeah, yeah. The whole consent talk before each wrestle that could be something that might be negotiated, that kind of thing, that energy. But yeah, exactly. for, for for the overall, we we're we're not shooting for that. Um, and we are going to be touching each other a lot. There's going to be a lot of wrestling. There's going to be probably some some touching of bikini areas, some of the, the fun secret no-nos that we sh we don't want to be lingering around. It's like if something yeah. if something does get brushed against, like let's not make a huge deal out of it. But like let's also not linger. We don't want we don't want to have like that kind of lingering creepy ew, you know kind of like <laughs> energy around. Like that's that's something we do not want around. So yeah, for the most part, let's just let's just not be creepy. Like as, as a general rule, <laughs> <laughs> how about that? <laughs> and you no kissing. And that's another thing. Yes. So bikini areas and mouth. We don't want to be on on any kind of private parts or anything inside of our mouths or our mouths around anything else. <laughs> we kind of like we had a little. I love being bitten. Yeah. So I think if you want to negotiate biting with that specific pair, mm -hmm. I thought it could be okay. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. And less, so unless it's been negotiated, let's keep our, yeah. let's keep our, our, our tongue and our teeth and our, our lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless it's been negotiated. Just say that too. Yeah, this is this is not so much a meat market. So like we can have our fun, and we want to keep we want to keep our energy contained within the space. It's just like we don't want to be explosive like like the Jackson Pollock. It's like we don't want to like energetically vomit on everyone or anything of that sort. This is going to be we want this to be more of like the again into like drop into our own sensual experience. And um, 
guess in that case, it's like it's all kind of like inclusive as far as body types. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like it's, we were trying not to have people try to help wrestle, like wrestle with the people that they're attracted to, so to speak. It's like this is just going to be like whatever energy arises in one person. We're going to see if that matches with another person, no matter what type of body they're in. It's like this is just absolutely all inclusive as far as it's like. Like for, for me, I'm ready to wrestle with any any type of person. Like whatever they identify, please. Like let's just let's just have it be like an energetic yum, so to speak, and not so much that oh hungry like energy, you know. So it's which we'll get into in a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we're just curious, what is like on a, a scale of if you raise your hand super high, you have a lot of experience. If your hand's on the ground, you maybe don't have any. Um, what are people's experience levels with wrestling in general? I like not sensual, just regular wrestling. Yeah, regular wrestling. Mm -hmm. Only sensual wrestling. <laughs> All right, we've got some like medium, medium level and or a lot of people who want to learn, which is great, came to the right place. How about like experience with contact improv, let's say? Okay, more experience with that. Solid. We got some contactors. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. okay. Good to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Uh, is there any questions so far that are arising? That's our little yeah intro. about consent, about uh, inclusion, about yes. Uh, not being creepy. <laughs> How about mild spankings? Oh, that's a good <laughs> I think negotiate that. I mean, I also love impact play. It's not necessarily a focus of this evening, um, but yeah, negotiate it before each wrestle. Yeah, as, as a general, I mean, as far as any kind of impact, any kind of speed up until you actually hit or, or make contact with someone trying to stay away from, but again, that could be negotiated with whatever you're actually going to be wrestling at that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, try to think. yeah. Um, I guess I want to check in with people because that was not something that was on the event. It's talking about impact play. Mm -hmm. And I know that because this is supposed to be more of a central, I just want to check in and see how people would feel about that because some people might be sensitive. Um, about impact? Yeah, if there, if, if, if there were other... Right. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but it's not like you know that 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 reaching into like uh, like that thirsty energy or showing like a thirsty energy of that sort. It's, it's, it's kind of like oh we are here and we are just enjoying this. And yeah, grateful for like the, the contact, for the push, for the pressure we're feeling and of that sort. Yeah. If you already have that type of relationship with somebody, is that unwelcome to have that in the wrestling experience? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's unwelcome if you have that relationship already. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not okay. not the main goal as far as like sexuality goes, but if it does arise, it arises. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah. Anything? Anything else we're wondering of or questioning or? Yeah. Okay. Enough talk, y'all. <laughs> like, we're here to we're here to wrestle. <laughs> you know, let's get into our bodies. <laughs> All right. So I, there's um. Yeah, one simple exercise I like to have, have all of us do. So, let's kind of find, find some space and get on our knees. And this is to kind of like wake up the energy of the spine. Very, very, very simple exercise. Uh, we all know our cat cow. Oh, like feeling for some the way to ourselves on the ground. Easy, easy, easy. On the inhales, just really open up the heart, open up the chest, bring those shoulders back, bring that head back. And on the exhale, just oh, give it all in, tuck it all 